in the 1960s, Gilligan's Island was the number one TV show. It was a comedy about seven stranded castaways on a deserted island. Lucky for them, they had Professor Roy Hinckley, portrayed by the actor Russell Johnson, who created a lot of cool inventions. Here at Zoom, we've put those inventions into the top five categories. It makes a whole lot of sense because if you do... Never mind that, I can't stand late curtains or talky projectionists. <laughs> All right, Gilligan, start pumping the projector. Category five, entertainment. That's pretty good, Mr. Howell. got two, four, six sports. Card, dice, <laughs> roulette. Not instant, Mr. Howell. There's only one game that I ever gamble on, and that's pool. Category number four, practicality. Hi, Skipper, what are you doing? I'm recharging the batteries on the radio. Now, if it isn't too exhausting, would you mind turning the radio on to see if it works? Now, this lie detector should prove conclusively that I had nothing to do with the notes. Uh, yes, exactly how does it work? Well, I've wired the ship's horn from the minnow, and I've utilized the batteries from the radio. If anyone lies, the horn goes off. Yes, uh, tell a lie so we can judge the truth. Uh, yes, of course. Uh, I should like to stay on this island forever. Never be rescued. <laughs> you see? Darn clever, Professor. Sure beats digging by hand. All right, Marianne, start pumping. Start pumping, Marianne. I want you to test your airline, Gilligan. Test your skipper. Comes in the back of your suit and goes to your mouthpiece. Now the pennies are held in the seawater by the hairpins. The wire coming from the pennies leads to the positive pole of the battery. Metal strips on the other side of the coconuts lead to the negative pole of the battery. Now, everybody get ready to stir their coconuts. That's perfect, Gilligan. Category number three, household. Testing, one, two, three, four, can you hear me? Yes, Gilligan, I can hear you fine. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, Gilligan, I can hear you fine. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. That professor sure is smart. <laughs> <laughs> telephone system. My legs are tired. That's all right, my boy. Conserve fuel. After all, we can only get 30 miles to a leg. It's longer, Marianne. Oh, we're almost to the rinse cycle, Skipper. Sometimes I think the professor invents too many things. The professor's a genius. Just a few hours ago, this contraption was a washing machine. And now it's a sewing machine. Uh, professor, that works great. Just like a regular fan. Better. You don't get a bill from the electric company every month. Category number two, health care. Well, open your mouth like a good boy. Start peddling. Uh, imagine peddling to drill your own teeth. Gilligan, start peddling. Faster. Faster. That's good. Now you just keep peddling while I get your teeth ready for the new fillings. Good wine. Well, he has no fever. Temperature is normal. Yeah, but his barometer is falling. I think he's going to rain. <laughs> and category number one, rescue. Pedal, everyone. Pedal. If these were real bikes, we could have driven there by now. <laughs> Can't we pretend we're going downhill so we can coast a while? Oh, my legs feel like spaghetti. They're as stiff as breadsticks. Spaghetti and breadsticks. It must be Italian bikes. <laughs> we mustn't lose power. We've run into a problem here at Mission Control. 
communication with the space capsule has been disrupted by a mysterious static. I'm all in rotten luck. I wonder where that static's coming from. It's coming from us. That's our signal. That's right. When they try to track down the static, they'll trace the interference to us. I'll keep pedaling. Pedal faster. And so, what do you think? Do you have anything you'd like to add or some new category you'd like to create? Leave a comment below and thanks for watching Zoom. Faster! Pedal faster! Interestingly though, the inventions didn't always work out that well. Something always happened to mess them up. He means me.